Then you just type your text in. I'm going to use a family name here in the large size, small, medium, and large. But when you get to the next step, you can click and drag to change the shape anyway. Most of the family names go in modified Roman. Okay. And I'm going to show you what the light option does also. And then most of your inscription pan, uh, inscription information, like uh, your names and dates, will go in condensed Roman. So you just change that. And then um, Vermarco's available. That's usually if you have a marriage date or a small scripture verse or something like that. Odds are it's in Vermarco. So those are some of the most popular monument fonts. But when you type your text in, continue. And this takes 30 seconds while your image is generated. And when that time is up, just click continue. And you can see here that um, your text has appeared and you can click and drag, change the shape of it just like the others. Maybe go a little bigger. If you want to use the light one, that's great for um, if you want to place uh, text in polish sometimes to give it a frosted look. Just place the lighter one there. Or if you're working on a black stone or a dark red, that's really convenient there. And click continue. Uh, at this step, you get to choose uh, your background and position your monument on a background. Just click and drag it wherever you'd like it to be. Some of these are ideal for markers like this one. You could just create a flat marker and drop it right in there. And when you finish that, you can also resize your uh, monument, make it larger and smaller. When you're finished here, just click Continue. And when you get here, you're able to um, change the color again. You can see what it looks like in pink. Red. Black, gray again, or mahogany. And you'll notice your copyright information is down here. Monument design composition would be copyright my monument company with components by Design Mart. And this generates a report that goes to your family or to you or your salespeople or your manufacturer or whoever you choose to email it to. But it tells the color of the granite that was selected. It also has the uh, carving components. We know this is a 5113 Design Mart Wild Rose and Cross and a 5013 D, 5013 D for Design Mart scroll name panel. So, um, that allows the uh, manufacturer to put together a CAD file to match this and cut the stencil and it'll look just like this one. It tells you also that the uh, family name is Williams, it's in modified Roman and um, if you had put any inscription names, individual names and dates on there that would appear there too. And you could put a family name or a PO number or whatever you have And you can select who you want this to uh, be from and who it's to. Carbon copy somebody on it. And once this is uh, sent to your email, you can uh, copy the image that you made or um, print it from there.
and you could type a message here I'm requesting a quote on a four foot and a three foot size and click email summary and then this message appears to let you know that you've finished and your message and your monument was successfully sent to this email address then you're done and when you click close you're back to the uh, online catalog and monument designer homepage quick check of email shows you the uh, results of the uh, design uh, work here I'd like a quote on a four foot and a three foot size and it's got the family name that you typed in summary report for Williams Monument or it could be PO number whatever the copyright information is here um, the granite color the component numbers everything you need is right there and you can print it from this message you can also right click on it and copy it paste it somewhere you could uh, save it whatever you'd like to do the, the images stay on the server for 30 days if you'd like to keep it longer than that just copy it and save it but that's it that's um, back to the uh, monument designer uh, homepage and if you'd like a free uh, trial we encourage everybody to try it free so um, Give us a call or email us, and we'll be glad to give you a username and password and help you with any questions you have.